There we go, chat. There we go. I had to get it right for y'all, man. Y'all know I had to get it right for y'all. Give me a second. Let me, let's, let me do my intro. I ain't ready yet. Remember the time when you wanted more. Remember the time when there were people in your life that did not believe in you. Remember the time when you honestly gave up on the possibilities of the uniqueness that you had inside. Remember there was a time that you complained so much, but yet did so little. There comes to a point in your life that you must recognize that there's a little bit more that has to be done than just complaining about it. You have to realize that you don't have any other opportunities waiting for you if you're not willing to work for the first opportunity that's been given to you. You don't have a lot of time left. So there's no reason to complain. You're not even in the position to complain. You have to figure out that there has to be another idea about you. And you have to understand that there has to be something even greater and more challenging waiting for you. And if you're not willing to step outside of your comfort zone, if you're not willing to understand the principles and the possibilities that you have within yourself, then everything that you are thriving for, everything that you are hungry for, will soon come to an end. Now, I'm not here to preach to you about this. I'm here to let you know that there are things that are going on around you right now that are far greater than your complaining. You complaining about so much, but yet you show no action. <laughs> if you could trade places with someone right now, and the person that you are trading places with may have it just a little bit tougher than you have it going on in your life right now. So many people are suffering from so many things in this world at this moment. But yet you're complaining. So many people in this world right now wish they could trade places with you. But yet you're still complaining. You don't have that right to just give up. You don't have that right to just throw in the towel and say that it's over for you. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand that the reason that you are existing in this world right now is because you have things that must be done and only certain people are qualified to take it to the level that it needs to be taken to. For there should never be a limitation to wherever it is that you are seeking and how far you are willing to travel and how far you are willing to go. Sometimes people tend to get a little lazy. Sometimes people like to put themselves in this little bitty box and just say that they are okay with where they are. There can never just be an okay to anything when it comes to that life. There should never just be a complacent mindset. How do we evolve? How do you evolve? How do you grow? One thing about success, there are gonna be many struggles. There are gonna be many challenges. And there are gonna be a lot of things that you may not even understand. But you got to go back to where it started. Remember when you wanted more. Because you cannot satisfy your hunger with negative energy. Being negative doesn't help you to grow. Being doubtful doesn't give you the power that you need 
you have to come to a point in your life that you must realize that there are things that are going on that is testing you. And maybe you may be in a position where you feel that you are broken or you're feeling that you're going to be broken. But I'm here to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that you are built to last. I'm here to let you know that you don't have the right to complain anymore. I'm here to let you know that you got to keep on living and living on strong. You can make your follow-up appointment from... Anywhere? Yep. My poor chat, my poor chat. I ain't know if he's going to get an ad. Hold on. I dare you to take a trip to your local hospital. And if you have an opportunity to walk down those corridors and witness so many different people, different age groups, different ethnicities, and each one of these individuals are fighting something, they're dealing with some type of sickness. And some of these sicknesses, they may not be able to recover from. I dare you to walk down a neighborhood where there are many people that are homeless and have no place to go, no food to eat, barely even have clothes on their backs. I dare you to realize that maybe you just don't have it so bad after all. Maybe it's time for you to realize and recognize that your troubles are not that bad. Maybe it's time that you realize that you need to get away from the drama that's in your life. Maybe it's time for you to stop chasing misery and start chasing your dreams. Reconnect with yourself. Because this is not the time for you to be wasting putting yourself back instead of pushing yourself forward. Ladies and gentlemen, you have so much, so much to offer, so much to give, so much to do, but doing it sitting around waiting for it to happen. It's just gonna stay in neutral. You have to electrify the desire that you have, that you once had. So the next time you feel like complaining, you feel like worrying, and you're so concerned about other things that doesn't necessarily concern you, ask yourself, is it making you better? Is it taking you higher? Are you going further? Or are you just being complacent? Complacent and complaining and worrying and doing things that are not better for you? Are you gonna realize that maybe just going up that mountain does take a little bit more work? than just having something handed to you? Are you gonna be that person that realize that if and when you get to the top of the mountain, it don't just stop there. You got to figure out another way to go even higher. You have to electrify and get all the things that are necessary within you to start doing the things that you need to do so when the time comes, you can kick down that door and move toward being the best of who you really are. That's all facts, chat. It's all facts plus tax. What's good, chat? Welcome to another stream. Y'all hear the kids in the background. I'm gonna be on uh this face of the franchise. 
linebacker, halfback, wide receiver, QB. Hmm. I don't know what position I should play. I'm going to hold you. All these joints sound fly. Hmm. Hey, somebody just doing my party chat. Give me a second. I don't think I can hear them. What's the word? Yo. I think I'm going to go half back. Now, what's the word? What's good? What's good? Y'all just missed the fire speech. I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all just missed the fire speech. I ain't gonna hold you. This nigga went dumb just now. <laughs> Piffle it. Who? Ooh, no. He couldn't, he couldn't say that, nigga, he was, uh, on the deck on mute for a while. It did. It said Rishi just joined the server, and right after that, few niggas left the server. <laughs> he ain't been, he ain't been tight nothing, get to say nothing, nothing, because he couldn't yet.
No, that was after he was able to type. I was talking about before then. Absolutely crushed it. This final edit really took it to the next level, man. I mean, you gotta be looking for an agency job, bro. <laughs> I'm glad we on the same page, man. There's gonna be a lot of eyes on this. This is gonna be ready for when you make it big. <laughs> what? You're about to get? I mean, we've been boys for a minute, but I ain't that nice. <laughs> you gotta talk to my agent. You <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't be talking about that man like that, man. You shouldn't be talking about yeah, that man like that, in. man. <laughs> uh huh. Building. All right, great. We'll be right there. Oh, I gotta press the space on stream elements. Yo, Damn, matter of fact, oh no, my laptop open. One I can day, do that right now. Chat. My own building. I'm gonna go fix that up. right now. You will beast on the field, man, and it's only a matter of time. And I know you're gonna get both. We just need the banner to be dope. Oh, like that one, you know, with the shoulder pads and the baseball bat. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta let your man take care of that, cause you know, Zono swag. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> man, it's chilly out here. Hey, yo, Jay, since we're early, can we stop here real quick? This would be a perfect spot for a video. <sighs> Always cutting it so close, huh? All right, two minutes. All right, you ready, baby creep? <laughs> yeah, man, let's go. All right, what's up, what's up, y'all? I gotta ask my man, what are we doing here at Nike HQ? <laughs> hey, so I got an exclusive invite to come out here and train with some of the best in the NFL. Um, just to be here and learn from these vets far into the league is... It's huge for me. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but I'm ready. Let's go. I don't want to hear the word Money. easy, man. Nailed I don't want to hear the word easy. Cool. <laughs> Thanks again, Jordan. I still can't believe we're here. You got this. I don't want to hear the word easy in. till next year. Hey, there he is. The next big thing has arrived. Brandon Young, lead sports performance director. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How's it going, Brandon? I've seen you in a couple videos with OBJ and LeBron. Well, you made it here, so that must mean you got next. And I see you brought the whole team with you. Wouldn't be here without him. This is my agent, Jordan Wright. So, brand manager. Oh, you sure you're not supposed to be part of the program? We still got a couple of slots left. <laughs> I'm retired. I can give him a run for his money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go grab your credentials and schedule from inside. Hey, a bit of advice. Take it all in. Well, get yourself checked in, and I'll see you out there in a bit. Oh, before you go, you've worked with some of the biggest names out there. What's the secret to their greatness? Frankly, it's balance. It's more than the body, skills, and the stats. It's the mind, too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> 
Man, man, them niggas know him. No doubt. Man, he ain't never going nowhere, nigga. Bro, I need to figure out who Jay's plug is. Because you ain't made it, made it yet? Let, this is that shit is like breathing, nigga. Okay, Second nature. So you're all you checked in, and the rumor mill is active right now. There's a few teams interested in moving up in the draft to select you. <laughs> okay, I have moved all of the pre-draft visits and interviews till after you completed the program. Pause. That was crazy. I have your access badge, and if you check your phone, I've sent you the schedule. <laughs> Let me check it out. <laughs> <laughs> chip, my nigga. Oh, chip. Was supposed to tell us. Was supposed to tell us. You wasn't. You wasn't supposed to tell us. We we supposed to give us that information. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. You said there was nothing I could do about that, good brother. Yeah. Uh, I think it worked now in chat. I'm gonna see. Exclamation point packs in the chat. Alrighty. How you doing, fellas? You doing good? Good. Everyone's nice and excited. I don't look so nervous. Everyone's happy. Good, good, good. You'll have your breakfast, I hope. Hard training this morning, boys. Hey, buddy. How are you? Alrighty, guys. Long speeches aren't my thing, so I'm gonna keep this brief. This is going to be six weeks with no interruptions. Six days a week, two sessions a day. The thing that separates the elite athletes is the work that they do during the oh, off season. No We're going to improve your stamina, your strength, speed, and agility. But it's not just about the physical reps or the high intensity with the technical work. It's about the mental, the nutrition, and the recovery. Welcome to the program. Alrighty, fellas, I'll see you out there in a bit, yeah? It's still the same. Oh, well, they're going to have to wait, chat. That's because niggas was out there eating. Alright, let's get it, chat. Oh, I gotta cut the music off. Hold on. They won't let me.
Oh, I was supposed to juke. I'm gonna try to jump over this nigga. Oh, that wasn't it. I, I gotta remember, I gotta do a pre. This is the Rich Eisen Show. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Rich Eisen. And it's that time of the... Huh? Oh yeah, that shit was corny. My name's Sammy. I make keeping it one hundred look good. Nigga, shut up.
Brandon, hey, Jordan Wright, we met last week. Hey, Jordan. Everyone's talking about you and your client. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Listen, I know you're busy, but could you give me some intel on how you feel he's doing?